Welcome to our Fortnite gameplay review, presented by Fortnite Master. A lot of you guys requested that we make a video where we showcase some gameplay footage, so we got our best player to record his game and provide us with his analysis and his thoughts on the gameplay. To be clear, the player in this video is our writer and not me. I just have a fancier microphone and a nicer voice. This video isn't meant to be a highlight reel, but rather an analysis of an average game to showcase how you guys can review and learn from your own gameplay. We are going for something quite chill as well, so I hope you guys learn something and enjoy it. So are we are we uh, commentating over this little beginning here? Uh, nice loading screen. Got the climate right. skin so then... from season <laughs> six. Hey. Um. So right right now at this point in the game, what are you? looking at because you open your map at some point um are you planning anything out here yeah well the first thing to do is to throw an emote down see if anybody else in the <laughs> lobby is friendly and then you want to open your map and yeah. check your drop so for these games i'm looking for relatively hot drops i want mm. to fight players early on and i decided to pick retail here the only other real option is mm. salty and you know that's just preference i like retail yeah. better than salty um a fatal is maybe an option here too, but mm -hmm. I'm just, I guess I'm just a fan of retail. Yeah, because I know that a huge debate is do I go salty or do I go retail? And do you think it, uh, retail has just like better rotations for your playstyle? I mean, in, in the end, they're not that much different. It's right. just whether you like to fight. Yeah, so right here when we're dropping, mm -hmm. you're going to see me deploy over the divot or try to deploy over the yeah. edge of the divot and that's the lowest possible elevation because yeah. inside of the divot is a lower obviously than the edges which are a little bit more raised so this is going to give me a pretty low landing right uh -huh. yeah okay. definitely was... I, I do also like um how you choose to go black tops here because it's a very underrated area sometimes a lot of people won't land here and they'll go towards the uh the residence but yeah. Pretty lucky RNG by getting a gun right off yeah, the Yeah, you can see here, I'm like, I wasn't I wasn't too concerned. I was just concerned about beating this guy in here. Mm -hmm. And I get shot in the back down to real low, and I get yeah. lucky. Right there, I take a little third-person peek to check mm -hmm. if the other guy's coming, but I hear shots. Yeah. Which gives me the confidence to go grab those shields and start healing up. Yeah, if you notice there, he didn't immediately go right to pick up the loot because there was windows there. So if the possibility that the enemy was chasing you then they could have shot you through the window so i go around to get mm. a different angle unfortunately get ripped in the back here yeah. down to 18 hp i know that guy's coming for me mm -hmm. i take a couple shots on this guy with two thoughts going through my mind i either yeah. kill him obviously which is the ideal situation or i anger him and he turns towards me and starts shooting at the direction where i'm not going to be anymore and where mm -hmm. the guy is going to come come to chase me right so um uh, the, the second scenario didn't end up working out. I ended up killing him, which is is good for me. But now I have this other guy who's right behind me chasing me, and mm. I have 18 HP still. I also like how you get to showcase the uh, the heavy AR, so we can yes. see how much damage that does at long range. The blue heavy <laughs> did like yeah, it did so much damage, like 40. It did. 40 it does 44 to the body. Yeah. There's 88 to the head. Holy, it's definitely a strong gun. I think we get to see that a couple more times this game. Mm -hmm. So let's get back into it. This guy yeah. is right behind me. I mean, I heard it right after he shot me. I heard him jump down. Like, I heard the noise. So I know he's chasing me right behind me. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to turn here and, you know, try to use movement and good aim to kill him. Right? Yeah. That's exactly what you do. Yeah, it's very basic. And, yeah, it ends up working out here. It ends up working out here. Uh -huh. Misses the first shot because I think he's gonna think I think he believed I was still gonna be in that corner. Mm -hmm. Misses the second shot. I'm jumping around, kind of hard to hit. I think the second shot he really could have hit. It kind of just whiffed it, but mm -hmm. luckily for me, he missed it. And I was able to land the uh, the few headshots with the SMG that I needed to spray him down. Yeah, and now at this point in the game, a lot of people they have an early game lead. What are the thoughts now going through your mind? Because you want to transition from this phase to maybe a more either aggressive or you maybe you want to farm up right now i'm looking for mats you can yeah. see my mat count i'm seven seven three i have absolutely nothing i'm gonna see yeah. this loot from this guy over here that i killed earlier yeah the second guy that i killed i'm gonna go check it out see what i can get here any upgrades mm -hmm. um a big thing going through my mind right now is that i only have three bullets in my smg mm -hmm. which is um 
it's bad if I get into a close range encounter and I need to switch to it because obviously I won't have any ammo. So right now I'm focused on getting mats. I'm going to farm this tree and I'm also focused on finding ammo for the SMG. I think I get into an, one more engagement here relatively soon. Mm -hmm. So we'll watch for that happening, but I'm going to find some SMG shots right here, which makes me feel a little bit more comfortable, yeah. especially since I dropped the tack for the pump. Pump mm -hmm. is kind of a hard weapon uh, to have. If you don't have a secondary to switch to, you really have to hit your shots and then yeah. build to um, build to recover. Mm -hmm. I so also... I spot this guy, land a couple right. shots, but man, he <laughs> rips me with that sniper. Yeah, that was crazy, crazy shot. I like how uh, your pacing in this early game is very calculated. How you go from very aggressive, but then you know when you have to play passive. But yeah, yeah. so you see... Um, um, so he he turns and he gets a sniper shot on me in a matter of seconds, right? Mm -hmm. He's really quick about it, and he hits the shot, which scares me a little bit. It's making me think he's, he's a pretty good player. Right here, when I build up, I kind of I peek over the edge with my third third person camera, yeah, and I can see him scoped in with a sniper. Mm -hmm. And he hit the first shot, so I'm just not gonna peek this. I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, right. So you can see. I wait until he turns around and floors to shoot at him again. Yeah. A little bit safer. I floor out here and he floors and he edits through right into me, which catches me by surprise. I wasn't uh -huh. expecting it. Okay, Misses good. the shot, jumping down, and yeah. luckily I'm able to finish it up. That was that kill was a little bit more sloppy, but right. uh we landed the shot and you know able to get the elite. So at this point in the game, I don't get into any more early game engagements. I've kind of cleared out retail row, mm -hmm. focused on farming up mats here, and I'm at 75 HP, no shield. That guy took it all away with a sniper shot. Mm -hmm. um, I was able to heal back up to 75 with bandages, but that's about it. So priority right now is getting shield. And then when do you want to rotate? Because it's like the first first circle is about to close in in like two minutes. Um, you said that your priority is getting shields, but... Let's just say, like, after you get shields, or maybe you can't find shields, uh, where do you want to rotate? So, right here, the priority is, is to get shields, like you said. Right. Uh, I'm pretty much just going to push that looting phase and look for shields up until I can't anymore, yeah. right? Or until I find some, obviously. Because, set, like, going, in, going up against a good player with only 75 HP and no shields is just tough. Mm -hmm. It's really hard, especially if they're landing their shots. It's one... You're dead to one solid uh, body shot from a pump. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's not much. So I'm looting here, trying to find shields. I'm trying to go quick, trying yeah. to get some mats on my way. But yeah, I'm just going to... I'm not worried about rotations. I'm just worried about finding shields and really just looting up until the last possible moment to get that advantage. And now this is like almost kind of like a mini rotation because you could have mm -hmm. went Blacktop's residential but you went like kind of to this like no name type of area where sometimes there could be like a big pot just kind of lying around. I was I was about to take this rift until yeah. I saw that big, saw right big pot. Yeah, yeah. And the storm is coming. Yeah. I, th I have just enough time to get it off. But you know, I've been looting this whole time. Yeah. Didn't find any other shields. I'm just gonna take the big pot, drink it, and move on with my life. Especially mm -hmm. since I want to carry the bandages too because I still only have 75 HP. But now, when you're up in the air, what are you looking for? People. Right, and I, I shake I shake my head because I see a person right okay. there. Okay, so it, the person is very small. Is by this tree right here, but yeah. I, I see this tiny person running around right there. So I shake my head at him. So uh -huh. obviously the viewer can see him too. He's gonna destroy this rock right here. Yeah, and I'm gonna I want to land on him, but it's not wise to land right on him because that puts you on equal footing. I'm gonna land on this house, so I, I'm immediately at an advantage. Yeah. yeah, and I take a shot here. I didn't know he saw me, honestly. Mm -hmm. I thought I was going to get a free shot there, but he shoots back, and I feel like this guy's a good player. He's wearing, he's wearing a soccer skin, and yeah. he, he shot that sniper shot pretty quickly. I also right? like, yeah, I like the angle that you have on him right now because he's got, like, two options. He either goes left or right. He can't go back because mm -hmm. the storm's right there. Correct. Yeah. So he knocks me down here and can't build a wall on the side of the house, uh, so it takes me a little bit to get back up. But now he's getting pushed by another guy who just destroys him, mm -hmm. right? The other guy doesn't seem too concerned with me. I hit him a few times. I'm going to go finish him off with a shotgun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's also a good display of... Uh, what is it? The bloom of the, the of the heavy. Because the first shot is pretty yeah. close. It's like first shot accuracy. 
And then the shot after that, it very fast. It gets to a very big um, bloom size. Yeah. yeah. You get to kind of right. see that right here. It's going like huge. And then you hit one. Yeah, my, my cursor is on him for a decent exactly. amount of that spray. And then just oh, like get, out of the blue, one headshot, yeah. Out of the blue, you get a uh, kind of like a like a no scope in a sense as you're building. Yeah, I get one headshot and then I yeah. jump up. And then you get a 44. Before, yeah, before I place the floor below me, I shoot a couple more hip fire shots and I get a hit on him, mm -hmm. which is good because you know that's already 120 damage on this guy, 130 damage almost. Yeah. And then one important thing here is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump up out in the open hit him with my shotgun, and then build a floor underneath me right afterwards so I don't fall down. Mm -hmm. So I get the hit, I get a free hit on him, I block myself off immediately and don't lose high ground. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that's so I got, three, I got three shots on him yeah. right, before he could do anything. That's a huge skill to have. I know that a lot of pros, that's how they get very easy kills on people because they they're consistent with their high ground and they don't make the same mistake as all the other players where they're just like, oh, I hit a shot and I can go onto the ground. They wait for the mm -hmm. reload mm -hmm. of the pump so they can use it twice. Shotgun. Yep, I got a pretty pretty good loadout right now, pretty good kit. Right mm -hmm. now I'm just focused on finding players, yeah. using the new glider redeploy to just single ramp up fearlessly. Yeah. <laughs> it actually changes the game because it, there's so much rotational power with it. Yeah, and you know, keep in mind, I'm, I'm moving and jumping here. I'm moving side to side of my ramp. I'm jumping, yeah. so if somebody's gonna try to take a snipe at me, I'm pretty out in the open. I'm just mm -hmm. running up in the middle of the map. So if somebody shoots me from behind, I spot them. I spot a glimpse of them here behind that shed. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a tough shot. It just barely hits the edge. <laughs> it's, yeah, I'm a... damn. That was actually really good. That. It also kind of opens up a strat, like build just building up and scouting out the area, mm -hmm. because then you get to see where, like if anybody wants to shoot you, and mm -hmm. if they do shoot you, then you immediately just like all right, one eighty, let's just go. Yep, yep. And and again, I'm pl I'm trying to play relatively aggressive. Like I'm not playing hyper aggressive, mm -hmm. just running at everyone I see. Because again, I, I spent a decent amount of time getting that, looking for that fifty shield. But mm -hmm. so I'm gonna box up here. Pop this med kit, get back to full health. And I believe it's called the heavy sniper, but um, yeah. Why, why do you um? Is, is the heavy sniper just like a better version of the the bolt action? Honestly, it really is. Yeah. Like I thought he was gonna keep on moving there. It's a tough shot to miss. Mm -hmm. He's gonna try to ramp towards me here, get a couple tags. Takes high ground here. Okay. I'll get it back though. Cool. Hit him as he's gonna glide away. Oh, nice. Get a good AR shot on him. Yeah. I already tagged him twice for 44 when he was ramping towards me. Hit him for mm -hmm. 66 with the shotgun, so one more AR. Heavy AR shot is gonna finish that up. I got sniped immediately at. Gonna drink this mini shield. Yeah, going back Another to that. One. Going back to that build yeah. real quick. I think that's like just the easiest way to get high ground. It's just the double, one floor above you, one below you. Yeah, and it's it's pretty much you know it's so useful in so many scenarios because you see right here yep. I mess up right here I mean to place a floor and then a ramp on that same floor yeah to get me height faster but I accidentally place the ramp in front of me and he takes high ground but mm. I just you know I'm I'm able to immediately turn just double ramp up yeah and retake mm -hmm. yeah that's so good and then he's forced to just peace I'm gonna get sniped at not but a second later yeah. I'll try to drink this mini shield. Barely get the second one off. He's gonna glide at me. Yeah, and you have to use advantages like that, or like times like that, just to try and utilize as much as much time as possible, just to get off whatever meds you can. <laughs> and it just turns into a jumping shotgun fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's go back to this mini. Sure. You're yeah. right. You really have to kind of take advantage of every second you yeah. get right uh -huh. so I, I know the guy's gliding down on me as i'm starting to drink the second mini yeah but i still have just barely enough time to get it mm -hmm. and then you place a flat floor wall yeah again you still buy yourself a little bit more time yeah try to edit up he blocks me but go yeah. for the high ground retake 
And I missed my shotgun shot right here because I think he's going to keep on running up the ramp and yeah. not turn towards me like he does. Mm -hmm. Right? So I just barely missed my shotgun shot and then switched to the SMG. And yeah. <laughs> break just the try ramp. And spray, yeah. yeah. And then you get it. That was really good. What's your thought process here? Because this is end game, right? You got eight kills. There's six people remaining. What are the, like the mini rotational options through your mind? So right now, I'm still trying to be kind of aggressive. Like I don't want to play super passive, yeah. even though there's only six people left. I like killing people, players. I like eliminating them. So I'm gonna go for high ground right here. This mountain right ahead of me is in the zone. Mm -hmm. I'll pop one of these shadow stones and Sorry. bounce up, and mm -hmm. then look up and phase up a few times just so I can get on the top of this mountain. And while mm -hmm. I'm doing this, I see the building happening over at Dusty. It looks like a big build fight, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm doing as soon as I pop out of this. I'm going to look at that. Hmm. Take a couple shots over here. Yeah. See if I can Create see if I can third chaos. party this a little bit. Yeah. yeah. And in and, and these situations, you know, it's not super calculated, but what you want to do is you really want to try to shoot the person who looks like they're lo or who looks like they're winning, right? Yeah. Because if you can shoot, if you can damage their hurt, the person who wins that fight, mm -hmm. and then you can jump on them and take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna get a couple more shots here. I can see somebody gets a kill, right? Yeah. And that prompts me to say, okay, it's not as dangerous anymore. I'm gonna build up and try to jump on this guy. Mm -hmm. Be because so I'll reload my sniper before I go. You also go landed a couple of shots um, onto one of the players. So it's good to take that chance just to see even if uh, that player you hit is the one that won. Yeah, so I'm initially going to land on the ultimate high ground right there. But I don't see anybody, and I think there's only one person left because I saw somebody die. Mm -hmm. And I think they died somewhere over near this little smaller kind of construction. So I'm going to go over here instead and spot the player underneath healing. I get a good shot at him right there. And I don't think he's going to be as good as he is, but he immediately, like... Goes crazy, yeah. Yeah, and he's, like, he's not giving it up. I try to shoot him out here. He catches himself. Yeah. So then in a scenario like this, what do you do? Yeah, I'm going to go, well... You just in, the, in a scenario like this, you don't yeah. do what I did. What do you... what What... You could place a flat floor on top of yourself to create that double. Yeah, I, and I should have done that. Yeah. I think he would have rocketed me down, and I would have had to glide away, but I would not have gotten hit Okay. Um, like I did here. You could also you could do something like you could just box up and you know edit down a couple of levels, force him to come down looking for you, and then try to go for a retake then. Mm -hmm. um, you could... I, so I was facing him when he blocked me off and I turned right and I tried to go for the retake. You could turn around 180 degrees and do what you said and mm -hmm. um, place a wall above so you can do the double ramp. But honestly, with him having the rocket, I yeah. don't think any of those would have worked. I think my, the best case scenario here is I go for a retake and I block the rocket and still yeah. get knocked down. Because yeah. I think that's what he was going to do anyway. Mm -hmm. So I, I go for the retake, don't have the ramp above, try to turn quickly enough, but it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go down to the bottom here and kind of play low ground warrior. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a little bit low and he drops down like immediately, <laughs> right? He's not, yeah. he's not wasting, he's not wasting any time at all. No. He hits me with that rocket. It's a gold RPG because it did 121 damage. Yeah. So he's dropping down immediately. Mm -hmm. Um, I thought I was going to have a little bit more time. So I hear him drop down and you can tell he's a good player. He misses his shot, but you know, not a half a second goes by before a wall and a ramp is up. Yeah. And then something else the good players will always do is, you know, get into the habit of when you build a wall on a ramp, put another ramp ahead of you too, because that ramp is what's going to block your opponent. Mm -hmm. Right? The wall on the ramp is going to protect you, and then the second ramp, extending your first, is is what's going to block your opponent. So that's what he does. Mm -hmm. And he, he tries and he to edits. drop down. Yeah. 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 And he edits that, and he tries to. Sorry, we'll wait till this goes back. Yeah. But he edits it. And then he tries to get a shot on me. Luckily, I whip around 180, and I'm able to like, chunk him. Mm -hmm. Right? I didn't see the damage number because it happened quickly, but I got, too quick, I think, you know, five or six pellets. Yeah, it was a hit. Um, and then I'm gonna do the same thing he does. I'm gonna hit him, and then, now, but a half a second later, 
I'll build a wall and a ramp and I'll block him off with another ramp, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then he he just tries to come around for it and I get the quick shot. I'm assuming he was going he was just going to shoot me from the low ground. It mm -hmm. didn't look like he was trying to build or retake or anything. He just thought I was low and he could get the shot on me before I did him. And it didn't work out in that situation. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, so that all of that went through. And now there's three people remaining. It kind mm -hmm. of tells you that those guys are a little bit more passive. Because there's so yeah. much fighting that's been going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like th that one area probably. And then I'm just going to pop over to this hill. I see the edge of the hill is in the zone. It's the most advantageous position in the, in the zone right now. It's the highest ground. One by one. Yeah, I see the guy. I see the one by one. I shoot at the wall. I'm trying to get a reaction to see if yeah. there's somebody there, but he doesn't rebuild the wall fast enough, so I don't think anybody's there. Is there? I believe a, a, a minute or two later, I do see somebody there, and there, there, there was somebody camping there. Okay, so they were trying to act passive. Yeah. So right here, I'm gonna build a one by one. I have, I have <laughs> more than enough mats. Yeah. I have 750 wood, max brick, over 700 metal. So I'm gonna switch up to the metal here to build the one by one. It's obviously the most secure, yep. right? Mm -hmm. So I see that this guy rebuilt his stuff. Uh -huh. So now I know there's somebody there. I'm just gonna start taking some shots at the bottom of his tower because yeah. the heavy sniper is a uh, it one shots any material. Yep. It'll one shot metal too. Yep um so i can see him being a little bit more active but you know he didn't rebuild earlier and he seems like kind of a passive player to be honest um and what you don't want to do in this game is you don't want to just stick your head out and wait for him to appear mm -hmm. you want to use third person camera and you want to try to predict when he's going to peek or when he does peek to challenge you then do that so you do some cheeky edits here, get some That's shots actually, out of from different angles. I never honestly thought about that. How you can just like quickly edit your stare and then you make uh, another edit with like the wall in front of you. Mm -hmm. So that's another little strat. Get some different angles here in case yeah. some in case the other player is watching with a sniper, you know what I mean? They're just waiting for me to peek from the same spot. Mm -hmm. And now this other player, this like third player that we have no idea where where he is. He's yeah, extremely passive. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, he he is playing passive though, you're correct. Yeah. So I, I get the guys one by one down, make him force him to glide away, right? That's good. That's weird so how he didn't take any rock. shots on you, though. Yeah, and that's that's why he seems like a pretty passive player, right? Mm -hmm. I wasn't given a whole lot of opportunities, but Literally still most no players peak. would be peeking you or yeah. taking shots or doing something, right? Mm -hmm. So I spot this guy right now, the third player. He's in this broken down building. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to wall myself off from the other player who I saw glide. Yeah. And then start shooting at this guy, see if That's I can get hilarious. some shots on him. Okay. He, he shock waves away. And you know that he's going towards that, that other player. So He looks like he's going. He's definitely going in that direction. Yeah. So <laughs> I find out here that he lands on the other tree. Huh. I land on this tree right here, and I do this for a really specific reason, because... You can look at the zone right here. The only safe area in the zone is this really, really low area in the river. Yeah. Right? And basically anybody outside of the zone, which, you know, is they don't they don't even have to be that far outside of the zone. They're going to have a natural high ground advantage. So if, you, mm -hmm. if I go in the zone right now and try to get in the middle of that circle, I'm going to be the lowest person in the game mm -hmm. and... It's just, I don't like being in positions like that. Yeah. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to land on this tree kind of next to the zone <laughs> and just wait it out a little bit, right? Yeah. Yeah, you definitely don't want to be on the low ground when there's other people, like, taking advantage shots on you. Well, especially, like, even the guy over by the rock, if I went yeah. down into that bottom area, river area, like, he could be a really passive player and still land a, yeah. an okay shot on me from that angle. Definitely an so I'm going to glide down even further. He was yeah. lost in the storm. Yeah, so he just the, the passive the player gets lost in the storm. Yeah, I don't know what's going on over there. Maybe he's a little AFK. Feels bad, man. But I like how you're just check checking every single bush. That's a a good one. Also, you're you're pretty invisible when you're inside of trees. A yeah, of, you can cover yourself up a fair amount. Yeah, even with like certain skins too. It's like it's it's a super small like criticism, but yeah, certain skins will blend in with trees really well. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I saw him destroy that tree. I see him glide by me here. Yep. Land a couple shots. Oh, 
barely missed the sniper yeah. right there. That was close. And um, you go towards this house for secure cover? Yeah, I go towards this house just because, again, this is the best position to be in. I'm right in front of this hill, and he's behind that tree. Yeah. And it's, it's natural cover. I can use it. It's, mm -hmm. I can also build off of it. And mm -hmm. what you're going to see me do here in a second is when he tries to build up, I'm not going to let him. And then I'm going to leverage this little hill right in front of me for uh, an advantage to keep him below. Mm -hmm. Okay. And heavies also destroy uh, trees too? In one yes. shot? Yeah, okay. So you can see I'm going to build up here. I can see him trying to like ramp up a couple times. I'm just not even going to let him come close, right? Mm -hmm. So I still have him right below me. Yep. I'm going to extend out over onto this hill, oh, reinforce the pyramid so it's not one shot. Mm -hmm. And then Storm is moving. He's got to go. Mm -hmm. So you stay yeah. exactly where you are because you're in front of him. Yeah. Yeah. I'll catch myself right there after the shot. I'll duck down here, shoot him, jump his shot, hit him again, nice. and finish it off. Hmm. There you go. A little emote, a little dancing. You know, you, you always got to rock the same emote that you did in the lobby. <laughs> uh, yeah. when you... That's the most important it's tip of this video. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's going to be it for our first gameplay review video. We're still working on the process and have plenty of ideas on how to make it better. So if you've enjoyed it and want to see more of this, please let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, or even share this video with your friends. From over here at Fortnite Master, my name is The Saved One, and I'm out. Peace.